Hi, I'm Cassie. I'm an engineer with EasyTrack, the on-demand hydraulic all-wheel drive system equipped on your truck. I'm here to give you a quick rundown on how to use our system. First, the basics. EasyTrack is a self-contained hydraulic all-wheel drive system that can be engaged on the fly when you need it. It operates in first gear and reverse to get you out of any sticky situations you may find yourself in. Now before you get on the road, there's a couple things you should check every trip. First, check the oil level in the sight glass. Toward the top of the glass is considered full. Go ahead and fill it if it runs toward the low end of the glass. Then give the truck a good once over. Check for loose wiring and hanging hoses. And in the unlikely event of a leak, you want to catch that before you get on your way. Here are the two easy track components you'll have in the dash of your truck. The button will be within reach of the driver. This is how to engage a system. The display can be mounted anywhere and will show you the status of the system as well as a few more things we'll talk about later. Here we're sitting in neutral with the park brake applied. Apply the service brake, release the park brake, shift into first gear, and push the easy track button. The light will start to flash, indicating the system is armed and ready. Release the service brake, and easy track will kick in. You're on your way. When the system is off, the light on the button will be off, and the display will read Assist Off. When the system is ready to engage, the light on the button will flash quickly and the display will read Assist Armed. When the system is engaged, the light will be solid and the display will read Assist On. When the brake is applied with the system engaged, the system goes into bypass mode until the brake is released. The button will flash quickly and the display will read Assist On Brake. Okay, let me show you what you can see on this display here. First screen, the default screen when you turn the truck on, is the assistance mode. So right now the system is off. And if you can click through these screens here, it'll show you a variety of different parameters and readings that you can view. For more information on any of these screens, consult your operator's manual. Here I'll generate an error by unplugging the temperature sensor in the reservoir. An error will cause the light to flash slowly. The flashing red light indicates an error. Click the left error button to see the error code in the description. Error codes are listed in your operator's manual. Here it says error 98, temperature sensor signal. Click to the right to see the actual temperature reading which is zero, because the sensor is unplugged. A word about piggybacking. If there is a pump piggybacked on the EasyTrack pump, an error will appear after the piggyback pump is run without running the EasyTrack. This is normal. Cycle truck power and the error will disappear. Here I'll show you a sample shift sequence. Here we start out in drive. When the transmission shifts into second gear, the EasyTrack system kicks out and goes into armed mode, meaning the light starts to flash. If the driver allows the truck to come back down into first gear, EasyTrack will engage again. However, if the driver continues to accelerate through second gear and accelerates past 27 miles an hour, EasyTrack will turn off completely and must be re-engaged in first gear by pushing the button. Remember, if you want EasyTrack to stay engaged indefinitely, arrow down to manually select first gear. Now let's see what a truck equipped with EasyTrack can do. We'll start without the system engaged. Notice the tire spinning. Now we'll engage EasyTrack and the truck climbs the hill with no problem. You can hear the system working. EasyTrack can be engaged on the fly. No need to stop to engage four-wheel drive. Access manuals, more information, and other training videos on our website.